This is my, this is my story, personal story. Uh, this was my position coach. So going into my senior year, I only started in four years of playing football here, I only started 10 games. So I only started five up into my senior year. So for me, I didn't think I was going to the NFL, to be honest with you. People were like, oh, you're going to the NFL. I said, yeah, it sounds good, but probably not going to happen. So again, I did internships. And I said, you know what? I would love going, I would love working for Nike. That'd be great, right? You travel around the world, travel around the country, travel around the region, and you give shoes, you give cleats, you give footballs, you give gloves, shirts, everything. So I went to my position coach, and I said, hmm, you played in the NFL 13 years, won some Super Bowls, Pro Bowls. I said, what kind of relationships do you have? So then he put me in contact with a guy named uh, Ray, uh, Rodney Knox. This is in 2007, and I'll show you in a second. Then, not only did I do that, I went to the next one. I said, Pops. Okay, Pops. Uh, okay, Pops is me, right? So, I said, he's in charge of the equipment room. USC is sponsored by Nike. A Nike rep comes every week, so I put two and two together, and, and now, all of a sudden, I got my connection at Nike. I want to go to the NFL, but at the same time, I know that that might not be possible. So let me go ahead and do some research of my own. So this is in, can you see what that said? 2007. 2007. All right, so this is me. Hello, Mr. Knox. This is Thomas Williams from the USC football team. I just wanted to touch base with you and see how everything is going. Hope all is well. My plans were to meet with you this summer and try an internship with Nike. I am setting up connections for after football, whether that's uh, this season or 10 years down the road. But because of the lack of time, I am not sure that will be possible for the summer. Make a long story short, he gets right back to me. Uh, so I sent it on the 8th. He got right back to me on the 10th. He goes, let's keep trying. I appreciate your approach and desire to set your future course beyond the football field. So only two days later, this is an executive at one of the biggest corporations, he got right back to me. Because he even noticed and he acknowledged it, I appreciate your approach. I, he's, he's saying, Thomas, I understand you're busy. Every single one of us who plays sports, I understand you're busy, but just keep trying. I understand you can't work an internship for three months. So you know what, why don't you come shadow me for one day a week, or two days a week, three hours a day. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you do that? Because it's possible. They know how busy we are, and that's the advantage we have. Because I can go talk directly to a top executive for Nike, as opposed to somebody who goes to school here, and they have to send in an email to an auto response, and they get an auto response back. So, next one. Same guy. What's it say? September 5th, 2007. Good, good, good eyes. Couldn't see that. And then, and then this one's what? Next day. Next day. Next day, right? So same thing. What, uh, September, what, what would I be doing September 5th? Playing Notre Dame. That was a good guess. That was a good guess. <laughs> but I'm saying I'm, I'm in the middle of I'm, it's football season, right? Yeah. It's football season. <laughs> same thing. Hope all is well. I'm pretty sure that you're busy, but it's been a while since I last talked with you. I wanted to touch base with you and see how everything has been. I just want to keep the conversation going back and forth. That's it. I'm not asking this guy for anything other than saying, hey, listen, I need to stay fresh in your mind. How do you stay fresh in somebody's mind? Keep on contact. If you, if you, did you have a girlfriend? No. Okay, but when you did, or maybe when you were looking, mm -hmm. let's take this for example. If you wanted to stay fresh in her mind, what would you do? Just keep on her. Right. Just her on there. And they'll know you're there. <laughs> they think about you, babe. <laughs> Right? You don't want them to forget about you, so you might keep texting them. Might keep calling every so often. But the only reason I wanted to share this, guys, is because it's really easy. This took, what, 30 seconds? Actually, I'm not a good typer, so it took a little bit longer on my part. He didn't really say anything back. He wasn't playing with me. He was, he 